this job is a way to be able to give something back. You do the work, you know, you no concessions, you do what a man does and that's it. I personally love coming to work, driving a tractor, wielding a chainsaw. The forestry sector is changing the needs of forestry to meet the ambition of what the future is changing. I left school at 14, which was the normal then. There was no work in, in the village where I was brought up. A crowd of girls were coming from Glasgow, or coming from one of the cities, uh, and they were we called the Women's Timber Corps. Take a good look at these sturdy lumberjoes on their way to fill their daily bag of forest giants. It was very hard work. We didn't have a tractor or anything because it was all, I mean, it was very hilly and, oh, you know what it's like in Scotland. It was all done with horses and drag chains. All the timber had to be drawn out of the forest with that. And they had the, the long saw, there was one at each end, you know, one girl at each end. Well, I knew how to do that because I'd done a lot of that with my father. Today, forestry has seen a big change for women and the opportunities that are available. I have seen more women coming into the sector and I think it's because our perceptions of forestry and what it is are slowly changing. When you think of forestry or people that work in forestry, you expect somebody to be walking around the forest with a chainsaw or an axe or a harness on, but actually there's so many roles. From feed foresters to ecologists to people working in communications, we need all families of jobs being represented to support forestry. My drive into work past Marshalls Lake, looking up at the trees, just generally being outside, working with a bunch of fantastic, passionate people. You feel like you're doing something good for the future and for, yeah, the next generation. It's changed, I would say, quite a lot in the past 10 years in terms of the type of people that are coming into forestry and the diversity that we're seeing. Going forward, the sector is going to need a lot more specialisms, and um, particularly in pests and diseases. As a researcher, I've always had to innovate and had to problem solve, and now I can use that to innovate for new ways of detecting disease and help protect forests. We used to go to schools and we used to talk to them about our role, and I think we're now seeing the result of that early influence on girls when they're younger, that they see that they can do this, they can be scientists and they can work in sectors like forestry where typically you'd think it was all men. Forestry is a great career for women and for everybody for that matter, both because of the subject matter, I'm of course passionate about forestry and the benefits that trees and woodland can deliver, but because of the people who work in the forestry sector who are incredibly passionate, generous with their knowledge and welcoming of others. I hope I'm contributing to making a difference with others in terms of creating the momentum and the confidence to ensure that in the future, planting trees, creating woodland, seeing more woodlands around us are natural choices. The advice I would give for women considering a career in forestry is just to go for it and to get stuck in. Be bold, to be brave, and if you are passionate about something and you want something, to go and get it. Go for it, I haven't looked back since. The number jails probably sparked a real difference in showing that women could play a part in the forestry sector. They opened the door, in a way, for some of us, and it's now up to us to carry on on the trajectory initiated and making sure that more women can work in forestry.